wanna see the flame, so don't spark the match. We like rookie Kurt Angle, make your ankle snap. Three amigos like Eddie, but don't lie, you steal. Only cheat when we gotta, but to win, we will. Mike skills like Dusty, but go hard like Brock. I'm a stunner like Austin, dropping elbows like Mach. Y'all don't wanna see the finish, cause it's us on top. One, two, three, get the V and get a warrior pop. Yo! What is going on, guys? It is your boy Wilbur, aka Mr. Underscore Wilbur's 95, aka King William. Here with the Bump Boys. We got Danny. Say what up. What's up, boys? We got Joe. How y'all doing, man? And wow, what a pay-per-view we just had. AEW Dynamite. Uh, psych! AEW Revolution. Um, great pay-per-view. Great pay-per-view. We're going to get into the matches. I've never uh, been even top to bottom for like the pre-show. was amazing. <laughs> like the pre-show. The first two pre-show matches could have stayed on the pre-show. I don't think they were like pay-per-view worthy, you know, for the actual main card. No, but I thought they, Chris and Layla was okay. They had its moments. It was sloppy to my dogs. It was, it was, it was, it was okay, but I, it wasn't. I, it wasn't at the I level like where I, the pay-per-view was. We'll, we'll, we'll get into it. it. We'll get into it. I'm, I, have a, I might have a bad comment, but Layla Hirsch, really? Even she has the Russian thing on her. <laughs> I thought she's gonna lose because she got the Russian gear. Same or something. I don't know. You know, this they're trying to push her, but uh yeah, we'll start off with that. Layla Hurst versus Chris Statlander. I think we were we were all wrong. I was watching our prediction video. Layla got the win. Uh with a little controversy. She hit uh Chris Statlander with the uh, uh extra turnbuckle that was like under the ring or something like that. But to cheat. Yeah. But she did secure herself a number one contender match with uh Thunder Rosa uh next dynamite. week yeah on dynamite well this coming dynamite uh then we had the uh match between i'm drawing really blank right now uh holy shit, what am I so, yeah, it was hook versus qt i don't know why i was drawing blank i'm sorry oh yeah we all had that one Easily. yeah hook, hook won. you knew he hook was yep. winning he's the hottest star you know he's the up and coming hottest star in the in the industry right now for ages. they can't oh. th- depending on what they're doing with him and wardlow straight straight money it's for the young audience too you know it's like they're grabbing that that young audience which is which is plus nice. the women love him facts facts um next up we had which could have been on the pay-per-view card uh but seeing as the other six-man tag was crazy i see why uh we had <laughs> uh the black family going up against the death triangle with eric redbeer and this was a good i think we Who'd you have, Dan? I think you had... Uh, uh, I had House of Black. House of, me and you had House of Black, and Joe had Sammy and Darby winning. No, no, I mean, no, he had... Um, no, no, Joe I had... I, did we, I, I think we, thought I, I had Black. All, oh, yeah, I think we all had House of Black. I'm pretty the sure first we all had couple, Black. I think the first three, we, we kept like... We kept the same? Yeah. yeah. And then we had... Okay, yeah, so the, that was a good match overall. Uh, good oh. pacing. Back and forth. Like I said, it was pay-per-view worthy. What'd you guys think? Oh, definitely pay-per-view worthy. It should have. It's just the card was so stacked. Yeah. It been, that that could have been a decent show itself, like on a rampage. And I thought that would probably have been better I than thought, any product. I, I thought that hold on. I thought that would have been better than any product WWE would have put out this week. So I thought it was a great pre-show. Like for, for what you're getting for free, it was a great deal. On YouTube? Yeah. It was money. Oh wait, they did. They uh, previewed it on YouTube. The yep. buying. Yep. Oh, yep. it was the first hour oh. on YouTube. So yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, you got a you got a banger on that one. Uh, then the pay per view kicked off. We had Eddie Kingston versus Chris Jericho. I liked the match. Uh, they both got thrown on their head. What What was your thoughts? I uh, was really great back and forth. I liked it. The... Oh, sorry. No, no, no. You can. Um, I... I thought it was really hard hitting. Like a lot of chops. Like I. I didn't. I had to go back and watch it because I didn't get to see everything up up front. But when I was like rewinding it and I saw like how red Jericho's chest was, I was like, "Is he bleeding or something like that?" I was like, "Let me go back and watch it." Oh my gosh! You see his chest like you know just normal color, and then it was like blood red, like both their chests when they were done. It was a. I thought it was a great match. Um, Eddie, you know, he pulled out a couple stops here and there that impressed me for the most part. They definitely. I thought I thought they did really good, like back and forth and going. They had really great moves. Like they had some great spots. I don't remember which one of them, but Eddie hit it ends a Yeah, that yes. was 
Oh, what? Eddie That's Straight crazy. landed on his head on one of the. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was just a. There's a lot. Did you guys notice there was a lot of pile drivers tonight? Yeah, there was a lot. To, yeah. uh, tombstones. Dude, yeah. I, I got it. You think they were? You think they were paying homage? To the Undertaker. That's what I thought. So when I saw, it, I was like, "Yo, why the fuck are there so many tombstones?" I was like, "Wait, maybe they're paying homage to, you know, Undertaker going to the Hall of Fame." Sting, potentially. Did Sting do one? Because Sting had a tombstone as part of his art film. Potentially, back in the day. potentially they did. I know CM Punk did his a version of like a tombstone. There was there was a bunch of tombstones going around. The main event had a bunch. Yeah. of stuff. Great. Pa- I will say this uh, for the card. Great pacing. Like they would give you a nice fast match. Slow it down. Fast. Slow I have, down, uh, fast, slow I have down. one thing. Would you would have changed the order of the matches? No. I thought I, I questioned it in the beginning, uh, you know, with the title matches being where they were at. But you know what it was? Some matches were fast, some were slow. So it was kind of like a pacing to give you, you know, after the whole, you know, um, TNT Women's Champion match, then you had the six man. So a slower match, fast match, and then you had a overall. I would have put the main event maybe open. Maybe. No. Nah. It's not WWE. No, no, no. This was, this felt like a classic. This kind of reminded me of like a classic. I could have put, I would have put and maybe MJF and Punk. Main event, maybe. Nah. It, which it, match do you, did you think was the best one on the card? No, it wasn't. Nah. Uh, which I will get into the next match. I thought the tag team match, this six man tag, was the best match on the card. Oh yeah, you called that right. You called that on the on the prediction show. Yeah, this was the best match on the card. I thought the pacing was amazing. The spots were beautiful. It wasn't too over. You know, not it too was many super great, kicks. Great, great chemistry. Yes. Great, great chemistry between all three of these. This, this reminded me of the triple threat we had on Rampage. Just, you know, overall great pacing, great spots, like the moves that were being done and like the, it kept you on your seat. And um, you thought, you know, there's a point I thought the Young Bucks were going to win. I thought the Dread Dragons were going to win. So I'm assuming we're get, I gave this match of the match of the, of the pay-per-view, in my opinion. Uh, I would say, yeah, maybe number two. Maybe number two? I'd say okay. I'm maybe one A one with uh I thought the story that MJF and and Jericho told was I mean MJF and um and Punk. Punk told yeah I thought that th- their story was great was good and then we we'll get into top three top three oh. and then next match I believe was the TBS Championship we had uh, Jade versus Ty Conti yeah. um that, that match was just weird yeah that match was uh, I'm assuming uh, I didn't watch it. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of like zoned out for a second. I think Jay yeah, won. I was on my phone. Yeah, yeah. I went so, to go eat. I went to get food. Yeah, uh, Jade it, did it, have it, a nice entrance though. She had the person playing the guitar for her and stuff like yes. that. Yes, fuck with that. So I thought it was like really weird, like especially her kissing Kay Conti at the beginning of the. Match. Oh yeah, I never. Yeah, that was just straight. Like what? The I was fuck? like, I was watching. I was like, right at the beginning, I'm like, what? I'm asking my friend who was over here. You know him, Joe Whaley. I'm Joe. Um, Man, why, are you using, why, are you, why are you pulling out dude's last names like that, dogs? <laughs> why are you pulling out they, they federal? I just have to say his whole federal Theodore, government name. Gunther, the third. Uh, Charles. You know, <laughs> you know Tom. Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson. Tom Willie. Yeah, I know Tom Willie. Yeah. Yeah, he was over watching the pay per view. I told that dude I said, what up? Anyway, yeah. Um, I didn't understand that. Like, so I was like rewinding because I, I had three screens going on. Next thing you know, I saw. The crowd pop on my phone. I'm like, what's going on over here? And I'm like, wait, what did I miss? And I'm just like, it was just kind of random, but um I gave Will my pay-per-view weird. I gave Will my pay-per-view login. Yeah, I came in clutch. clutch with the pay-per-view login. So, so yeah, that you didn't have to spend anything on it. I didn't bought- spend anything. I bought it. Uh me, me, me and Kayla split it 50-50. So I only played 25. Hey, that link, that link you gave me, yo, I had the pay-per-view, bro. Facts. I'm telling you, that link that Danny has, and ain't nobody getting that link, man. That link, that bro, I watched the UFC entire pay per view last yeah. night, bro, and it was money. But anyway, yeah, a lot. Of Jade <laughs> everything. Kissed, yeah, Jade kissed Tay, and then Tay kissed her. So mm-hmm. Jade got the win. Glad we're keeping the bell on her, keeping that streak alive. Yep. Uh, next up was the face of the, uh, face of the revolution. What a match! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, uh, so Sarah, uh, my friend, she, my friend Sarah, she was over for the match. She loved Orange Cassidy. I thought his gimmick was a ama- this was a perfect like gimmick spot for him when mm-hmm. he did the helicopter ladder, <laughs> and then Wardlow and Keith Lee looked at each other, and then they lifted him up, and then he held on, and then he did the little flip over and tried to grab it, and then he like slipped, and then it <laughs> caught his nuts, bro. <laughs> Oh my God, yo! This I thought this was one of the better matches I've seen in eight. This was amazing. Yeah. This was a 
this this would be my one C. What would be what was your one B? We'll, we'll get to it when we get so when we get to your match, that's a one A, one B, one C. Just mention it that way. We we'll keep okay. the train rolling. But uh I called it um I feel maybe like it was very predictable. Four, maybe top four, top maybe top four. Yeah, Wardlow four. Wardlow got the uh got the win here, and I feel like it was kind of perfect. And remember how I was telling you, it's going to set up the whole MJF potentially screwing over Wardload, and then these two dudes are going to go right at it. I'm pissed because I mm-hmm. went Keith Lee. I should have just stick with my gut and went Wardlow. Went Wardlow, yeah. Because then it set up my punk one. I would have been perfect, right? I would have been perfect all the way up the fucking main event. Mm-hmm. Almost. I would have so been this perfect is... on the main card. So I like uh, a lot of the spots, especially with the big, you know, just all the three big guys, you know, Hobbs, Wardlow. And uh, Keith Lee, like, you know, they had a spot inside the ring. Then, you know, they're fighting over there. And then uh, one of them, was it Warlow that pushed them, pushed them both yep. into the thing? Yep. Mm-hmm. But it was just kind of a funny. It was kind of like when I saw it, I was like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but it was just one of those, <laughs> it was just those funny housing moments. putting the curse on them? Yeah. <laughs> that was doo-doo. I didn't give a fuck about that. That was, that was the least in, important part of me for the match. I was just like, eh, it is what it was. Dude, he just keeps coming out and, like, doing random shit. Facts, yeah. He's just there for that aspect. He don't wrestle like that. I don't like how they ha- make it look like a brass ring. It literally looks like a, you know. Lifesaver. Like a lifesaver. Life saver or yeah. something like that. Yeah, like, uh, one time what it looks like to me, it looked like, you know those, you guys ever played the Sonic games, right? The the, the rings? Yeah, the, the rings, rings in the Sonic game. <laughs> it does look like that. Or the golden, or golden toilet seat. Nah, <laughs> nah, it was definitely a life raft, yo. It definitely was one of those life booby rafts you throw out. You guys um, get the whole brass ring now? They're yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. It, it, I feel like you could have like actual like you know pendant or something like you know nice metal sheet of metal or just a contract no. hanging or some shit like that. Yeah. Uh, but like next, so Wardlow got the win that sets up everything. Then we got the uh punk. M- the punk and yeah. MJF match. So this match was good. Um. The way MJF was selling towards the end when he got cut up was a little like goofy to me, to be honest. Like the he fucked up one camera. Me, me, and, me and my friend pointed out. There's one camera. Remember when? Remember when they're over by the corner and the kid, and they're over by that that, that little kid who's watching them. Mm-hmm. You could tell they they did not switch fast enough. You could see the blade. Yeah, yeah. You, you see Punk just poking him. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, that was. Yeah, it was one of those like, ooh, what the fuck happened right there, dog? Oh, uh, that's honestly, I get as much as we hate on WWE, WWE would not have let that happen. The camera work is better than AEW's. Yeah, it's least. on point. Yeah, there were a few times when they were also showing the uh, the replay, I believe, on the Punk match. They didn't cut over fast enough to um, you yeah, know, I think- showing. I think when Punk did the uh, the the pile driver on the outside, when he went mm-hmm. to that spot, they didn't cut fast enough. So you saw like a random like it looked like the cameraman put his camera down to you know swing around, and then they kind of like showed that on the re- re- uh, replay. But you so know, I felt bad because I had to look up what what um what Punk's entrance was. Mm-hmm. They mentioned I, it on the on the broadcast. They mentioned it was the Ring of Honor one. Yeah, I know. Once they said it, I was like, ah. I heard it before. I just didn't remember it. Yeah, there, there was definitely a heavy emphasis, I feel like, on this to mention Ring of Honor. And going back to uh, if you guys are uh, waiting for that, we're going to have a uh, podcast that we uh, did with the Queen's Takeover. Um, I I see kind of why they're turning. Obviously, it sucks that they're going to turn Ring of Honor into the, like their developmental. But I feel like they're going to try and like maybe keep it like a – Potentially, they could turn it into like a like a tough Second enough brand. or like a yeah or like a well like an NXT, but also like a lot of their wrestlers, their current champion AEW champion Hangman Adam Page, came from actually both the dudes in the main event came from Ring of Honor. A so lot of them did. Yeah, a lot of them. Did. So it's a way of like showing like, hey, you know, our next star could be in this developmental brand. Brian and, Danielson. Yeah. Freaking, Ma- Ma- I don't know. If, I don't know. Was Max in Ring of Honor? Uh, Mox might have been in Ring of Honor, to be honest. He seems like he would have been. Mm-hmm. I just, no, I think he's more of a hardcore guy. Just more of an indie traveling around, beating yeah. people up. But overall, that was a that was a good match. CM Punk got the win. Danny was correct on that. I see why that was because it kind of like like I said, if Punk did win, this does set him up for the title match against Hangman. 
you know, it, Hangman has been going against a lot of, you know, heels. So it's finally the time to get that baby face versus baby face that we've been waiting for in AEW. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I think that it is a good way to like a good, a good booking because it helps put MJ, it put, yes, it kind of buried MJ after a little bit, maybe not really, but you no, it, gave him a, it gave him a, a storyline. It helped Wardlow. Yeah, it did. It, Punk basically helped put Lord Wardlow over. Yeah, MG, but, yeah, yeah. It, he he did. Well, I feel like Wardlow was already over. This just helped move that storyline. It just it was a transition. It helped transition out of the storyline. Tag match on Wednesday. Into that. Who's ready for a tag match on Wednesday for freaking Wardlow and Wardlow and Sam Punk versus freaking? That's not happening. MGF and. Sean Spears. No, that's not happening. You're going to get a couple segments, uh, but let's move on. So next after that match was the women's championship match. I will say this. I felt a little bit bad because it was kind of hard to follow up that um, punk match. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I was to switch anything, I would have probably have put the punk, eh, but you don't want two people bleeding back to back. So I, I don't know. It was kind of hard for that. I thought this match was a little bit slow paced for myself. Um, oh, definitely. It was okay, but it definitely was. I could see people literally on their phones, people going up to use the bathroom, and they were using this as a break, which I feel bad about. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, Britt Baker ended up winning. But it makes sense why. The new titles. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. I showed uh, Sarah what the old uh, AEW title looked like, and she was like, that's fucking ugly. <laughs> Bro, that title was dog. That might be one of the worst titles I've seen. That It looked so old school. It was it, dog shit. The newer one? Wow. Looks amazing. Britt Baker really sold out that title. That looked beautiful. New design, same champ. Mm -hmm. uh, so, overall, Britt won. It sets up potentially Thunder winning it uh, at the St. Paddy's. I think it's going to be sitting Britt versus Thunder at St. Paddy's. At St. Paddy's, yeah. Steel Cage. Yeah, it's got that makes sense. Yeah, because you know what's weird? Mercedes Martinez wasn't in like that's where I feel like the AEW kind of dropped the ball there. Like, I don't know if Mercedes Martinez was doing something potentially like indies They're or like you know, indies. but it was almost like where you have to kind of you should have paid her to at least be there to have her back since she was there for the you know, she was there for the contract signing to have her back. So it kind of seemed mm -hmm. a little weird to not have that. Uh, but yeah, I like I the steel cage match. I think the steel cage match would be it's gonna be the rubber match too, as well. I feel mm -hmm. like I don't know why I didn't call this because it makes sense to have the rubber match. And then now that you see what they're going to do at St. Paddy's. Uh, but overall, this is going to be a good setup. I feel like the St. Paddy's match day match will be better than this one. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go on and talk about the uh, next match, which was the Daniel Bryant, uh, Brian Danielson versus Moxley. I, I think it was a really good technical match, especially with all the great moves like they did back and forth. Mm -hmm. Lots of more. If if you, if you don't like blood on this pay per view, yeah, this like, was not the pay per view to be on. If you were a little squeamish about blood, well, that's too damn bad. I'm tired. <laughs> like damn, yeah, like, was... Daniel was coated. His whole chest and arm at the end of the match just drenched in blood, and then you know, Mox, Mox was just drenched. The ref had blood on his shirt, and it's just like. It was it was a bloody match, um, very hard hitting, um, very nice um, way to make sure you're not destroying both characters. How they finished the match, um, yes. He didn't. If he didn't know it was a triangle choke, he finally cinched it in. Mox won for the rollover, and then Daniel was like, "I, I got pinned. Like, what are you talking about? You know, we get they get a little tussle. Then we get you know William Regal as the manager, making them all elite." And then um, I saw a great, yeah. during that match, I saw a great tweet someone put out. William Regal crossing over finally put the the nail in the coffin that NXT is dead. That yeah. that was the final. Yeah, he did some of his best work. My bad, Danny. Go ahead. Yeah, this is the final person that flips over. And then, well, we got Joey Gargano eventually, hopefully within the next month, debuting as well. So. And then, oh, we also forgot Isaiah uh, Swerve Scott came out. I did not like his promo. It was a little bit, eh. I don't know. It was, it was okay. His promo was, was kind of. promo. Yeah, it was, was kind of like. It was an intro promo, so. Yeah. yeah, it was. And then we had the main event in the eating. 
Fighting. No, no. Oh, we got one more. Oh, I forgot you. Right, I forgot. We got the, the tornado fast trios. Match. Dude, the tornado tag. Amazing match. Amazing. Just the right amount of time. Just the right amount of spots. Um, was there a spot that you guys particularly enjoyed? Uh, I'll go first. That thing. Like seeing that six year old man go through all those tables. It was hilarious. Yes. A lot of tables in this. Uh, my bad. A lot of tables in this. Uh, in this uh, pay per view as well. You know, in the key, in yeah. the ladder match, in this one, the uh, you had the the ending match as well. The world. Um, my favorite probably was the Sammy Guevara because like they totally missed a full table, um, and they oh, it yeah. was such that was such a good spot. And then you know, Sammy, I'm pretty crazy. They should have had Jeff on the screen, but I'm crazier. I'm pull your local man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, and then my favorite spot. Wait, like, Danny, oh. wait, Danny, let him go, John. Yep. You, me, okay. then. Okay. Oh, no, no, you can go, and I'll wrap it up with the, my my spot. Okay, got, with the neck. It. Oh, my God. Some of those things. A lot mm-hmm. of people tonight, If a lot of a lot of these moves tonight on this pay-per-view, crazy. How, some of them are just like, like, even your necks, like, God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm about to to cut you off my back. The MJF uh, pile driver from Punk on the outside ring. I looked like his neck kind of went back a little bit when he landed, yo. Dude, yes. Yes. I thought yes. his shit was snapped out. I ain't gonna lie. And then my favorite spot uh, was right before the end. Um, it was, what is it? Uh, Darby Allen hitting, you know, the um, reverse DDT on the chair. And you see the chair just flatten. And you realize, like, Matt Hardy just went through that chair. That was like I, you don't ever see the tape, the whole chair flatten like that. You'll see it twist, you'll see it bend. This thing completely flattened, and then unfortunately, you know, they missed the coffin drop at the very end. <laughs> like he literally just got like a wrist on him. <laughs> he got his head. He got like the back of his head, maybe. But it was thing. a good. It was a great coffin jump. Though. <laughs> he just didn't jump coffin. further enough. He didn't jump far enough. Well, also, Matt should have probably like went closer to him too. But it was just a miscommunication on their part. But it was like. He was like, oh, you know, hit him on the stomach. And I was like, yeah, that's a powerful finisher, man, right there. But better, than the ben, better than the Benoit finisher with the diving headbutt. And then, uh, Will, take us to our main event. Our main event. Our main event of the evening. Uh, we had Adam Cole versus Hangman. Uh, I was a little disappointed to not see the Young Bucks come out and continue uh, some more of that controversy. I got a, I got an opinion on that. I think this sets up Adam Cole getting pissed at them. It's like, why weren't you there? Oh, why weren't you there backing me up tonight? Why weren't why weren't you there Sunday to back me up? Like it wasn't fair. The the, the Red Dragons came out. Red Dragons came out. Red Dragons. <laughs> Red Dragons. Came out and like put a even like I'm surprised the Young Bucks didn't come out to help them when they when that happened. Actually, that's pretty smart, Dan. You know what they could do? They could have been like, well, Don Callis grabbed us right after our tag team match, and he said, you know, he w- he saw that we were down, so he took us out for to the champagne room at the the, the local uh, Orlando nightclub. That'd be something that's pretty cool. Like, oh, so you guys went out partying instead of waiting to see my, uh, you know, my, you know, you know, that makes sense. You know, Don Callis probably grabbed them, started talking to them. So maybe some video footage leaks out about that or something like that. That'd be pretty interesting to see. So that, yeah, that's, a, that's definitely that's a good, good idea. You could have him like pop up and be like, <clears throat> he's like, where were you? He's like, what do you mean? He's like, you know, because you all lost the match. You lost the match. Like, we left because we thought you, you you had the match. Like, you don't have the title. He's like, no, nah, I lost my fight. He's like, oh, my bad. I told funny. you. Yeah. I go this I way. You had it. <laughs> the Dark Order shouldn't have sent that many people out. <laughs> yeah, they definitely should. Well, uh, well, I think it was just one of the, you know, I think get the, the hand on them. But overall, I thought the match was really good. I put, I'm not a fan of, Adam Cole. I, I, I'm not, I've never been a big Adam Cole fan. I don't think I ever will be like a Adam Cole fan by far. You didn't like that match? You didn't like the... You didn't like, you I like, like the match. I like, like, I like the moves. I like the move. I like the match. I liked how they executed it. I'm not an Adam Cole fan, but I did enjoy the match. Uh, I thought his... When he came in with the, you know, the... Halo gear? Halo gear, that looked cheesy as fuck, bro. Like, yeah, it did. That, that's some party city shit, bro. Like, uh, if you know how he is, like, as his Twitch and his Twitch stream, he's a very big into Halo. Mm-hmm. He'd like, be big into Halo, but just do it right, you know. Like, 
I'm just saying. What do you mean? What do you mean? You want him to come out with a full Master Chief? Bro, that shit looked right. like you like. That shit looked like he like had someone spray painted the morning of and like like it someone like the, made that. It looks like someone at the grid made that shit like last minute. Like, yeah. and Brit speaking of Adam, it. speaking of Brit, uh, he might need his girlfriend to fix his tooth. His tooth definitely got knocked. No, that wasn't a tooth. That was like a that, that was like gum or spit. That no, he like definitely spit. honked a loogie. They def, you know what they do? They honk loogies and then they they spot the spit and then they spit it out when they. No, because yeah, because it looked like a damn tooth. Nah, when it's spot, it was too big to be a tooth unless you got some big ass mm, buck teeth ass mouth, ugly ass bite. Um, I mean, if it was a tooth, his girlfriend can just fix it from. Yeah, that's crazy. I did like the um <laughs> the moon salt uh the moon salt and then he did the uh, the super kick. I thought that was pretty uh well timed. I, the only thing I will say, um, yeah, yeah, I'm strong blank. There was a, oh yeah, uh, Jr. throughout this match. I don't know, Jr. Kind of like, uh, is he okay, guys? Like, like Adam Adam Page went to the ring and he said, "Oh, is that a new title belt?" And he's like, "Nah, Jr. What are you talking about?" He's like, "No, I think that is. I think it's a new title belt." He's like, "Maybe he just polished it up." He's like, "Oh, I could have swore it was a new title belt." And, I'm, and then he's like. Nah, nah, JR, we good. And then throughout the match, he was like, Well, what's the difference between this and that? He's like, Oh, I was just testing you or something like that. I'm like, but JR, you you kind of losing it now. Like, um, you losing it? I think he's going through some stuff. <laughs> he could have been, or he could have been kind of taking a shot at Kenny, like, you know, hangman defending the belt. You know, that belt's not just sit, sitting on a shelf. He spit shined it because JR was like, Oh, is that a new belt? And then they were like, No, no, no. He's like, Oh, I thought it, I could assume it was. It's got a new mm-hmm. coat of polish on it. It looks this so all, new. This is also the guy has that has referenced AW as WWE and WWF multiple times. <laughs> Fact, yeah. yeah. So we won't we won't get that. But overall, guys, where are we gonna rate this pay-per-view? I give it a nine. One out of ten. Nine. I'm giving it eight point eight. I give it like a nine point one, nine point two. It was really good. I thought it was really good. Top I had some complaints. I thought they could have like did did different like match setup maybe he both he did the crowd was like he did the crowd was not hot enough like I, I mean like weren't. loud enough no there were, were I think they were play too much into that my bad oh no um I don't think it was too bad but there was a couple moments I thought you know they could they could have used a popper here um but I don't think it was that they were bad Happy they weren't like, the I'm happy they didn't have any like big big debuts. Like Scott, you knew was coming. Like I'm happy there weren't like another like huge name showing up. Yeah, William yeah, and Scott end. were probably the two big, you know, more the two big ones. I'm happy they didn't have a guy at the end. Yeah, I'm glad so too. Yeah. Overall, AW Revolution, guys, go watch the highlights. It was amazing. Any last statements? No. No, I'll be on the lookout for um, our collaboration with the Queen Takeovers podcast, as we mentioned before. It's gonna be on Apple. That should be dropping Tuesday. Right around like noon, usually like noon or for three o'clock. So we're excited about that. It's been Will, Danny, Joe. It's been the Bump Boys. We're out. Peace. Must be Juju. Goodbye. Mwah. And good night. <laughs> <laughs>